welcome back to another video of Activerse Universe. I'm gonna be retwisting my own dreadlocks. See, I haven't retwisted my hair ever in my life. So doing a retwist in 20 something years. I don't wanna expose my age, you know what I'm saying? I might be 17, I could go by 18, I can do 18 maybe, no, no, okay. Before we get into the video, Intro! Today I have something banger for y'all, man. I'm gonna be doing my own here. I never done this before. Y'all keep telling me, do this, man. What are you talking about? And so, hey, I'm bringing the heaters only bangers on my channel. Check out the other video when I dyed my hair. Check out the other video when I also showed you guys how to start your own dreadlocks, AKA starter locks, AKA how to get into it. But besides that, man, I did ACV rinse and I have already made a video on that. I didn't want to make another video it's just too much it'll be too much ac rinse because i've done like two already uh videos on it one uh, including the soap wash to get like build ups out and then the other one is just like a ac rinse with baking soda uh but on this video i already washed my hair i'm a, a condition not conditioner but i'm a shampoo my hair and also i'm gonna lighten up my uh my locks with uh using uh, the shampoo it's like it's called shrimp or shrimp or something like that some shampoo is made for bleached hair uh, uh, basically, every time you wash with it, it kind of lighten, lightens up a little bit. It has like some products in there, some chemicals that lightens your bleach out. So I'm gonna be using that to wash my dreads uh, or shampoo my dreads because I already washed, kind of rinsed it with ACV, uh, uh, with ACV and baking soda. Now I'm gonna be doing something, uh, actual scalp wash and also a retwist for my uh, hair. See, I did uh, I did a scalp wash before, but I keep getting the uh, some dandruffs i keep having issues with dandruffs and not really buildups because i don't put products in my hair but dandruffs has been issue for me even to the point that i almost cut my dreads because of the amount that i keep getting my scalp gets dry fast my skin is good like my skin is good as long as it's getting some sun it's getting some breathe but it's like as long as my hair grows it just gets dry so fast. So I bought some, not, I didn't buy some uh, oil, but my fiance had given me some oil to basically help out with that. So I'm gonna be trying that. And basically after full works, I'll, I'll definitely share it with you guys. If it doesn't, I'm not gonna share it right now because I don't want people to buy it and then end up not, not working for them at all. If I have my sides even, I, I believe this is the reason. Uh, the reason is that I get uh, so much growth in like short amount of time that it takes all the nutrition out of my hair, like all the oil. And so now I have to maybe maintain my hair with a little bit more oil than usual or a uh, different oil that I've never tried. I think this one is uh, organic something oil. I forgot what it was called, but I'll definitely share if it works. I promise you guys. As you guys can see, my dread. I just got a retwist, by the way, guys, like a month ago. And I have so much growth. I don't know if you guys can see, let me zoom in. This is the new growth that I have, basically kind of like around this area right here. So as you guys can see, this is the retwisted part. And then the new growth is that right there. So probably like this amount. Like I get like almost an inch a month, like legit. Like I'm just wondering where this hair be coming from. But I had some baking soda I need to still wash out. As you guys can tell right here, it's like kind of bright. And also some of the dandruff is actually coming out. As I scratch, I can just get some, some of these dandruffs. I don't know if you guys can see it, but... Yeah, as you guys see, I get so much growth in my hair. And plus with that, I get so much of the dandruffs that I get. So basically what I did was ACV rinse it. So all the dandruffs basically started to kind of like soak, uh, soak up, kind of like um, almost like a mud basically. Whenever you put water in the dirt, it just becomes a mud. It's kind of like how that is right now. My hair is just soggy. And so it'll be easy when I shampoo it for it to just come off easy out of my dreads. But Gunther Great also gave me this, this shampoo to help me out with, with my dandruff because he said that this is one of the best ones that I've used and it's called T-Gel and I would definitely uh, uh, recommend that right after this video for works so stay tuned for this video and watch that um, so stay tuned for this video and watch that uh, and also basically enjoy hi right, guys I got done just washing my dreads uh, and also my scalp I used for the scalp I used T-Gel 
for the to highlight to lighten up a little bit of my hair my dreads or to wash it also i use the shimmer lights shampoo blonde and silver uh to to lock up my hair what i'll be using today is mango lime i was trying to get the wax but i didn't have time to do so but this is what i got mango lime I'm using this brush to brush out the bottom and also i'm gonna be using hair clips and hair tie all right this is for amateurs that have never done it before just like me you know what i'm saying <laughs> i haven't done it in a year i have never done it in my life my hair is already wet so that's good i just gotta put light to make a lot My dreads is like pretty hot right now because I washed it with hot water so you could just kind of feel the steam. I don't know if you can see it, but I washed my dreads, guys. Oh, wow. Some of my dreads are turning uh, silver on the blonde side. They're turning like, I just do the front so I can show you guys. So we're going to just start off with the front part because it's easy for me to show you guys how to do this. It's very easy to twist your own locks or to start your own dreads. I think the big part of it is that you need to section your dreads. If you section it out pretty good, you will get a good dread, thick dread like mine. But right here, as you guys can see, there's some that came out. And I believe it's because of me just cutting the front part of my hair that uh, I got to some, some of my dreads. And now I'm basically uh, trying to find those extra hair that i cut off before that that have grown so that i can connect them together as you guys see my dreads are looking pretty good but uh of course i need to retwist and i just got a retwist a month ago so i'm gonna just start off with the comb uh basically what i'm using this is for is to make sure that uh the the hairs on the side is just all all sectioned out per dread so that dread I wanted to stay thick, so I'm grabbing as much friends as he can, other hairs around it, and putting it together. And I'm using a light locking uh, lime gel, or not gel, but locking, oh yeah, I guess it's gel, locking gel to uh, kind of get the bottom part of it. And right here, I'm using a 0.10, I think, a 0.10 or 0.10 uh, crochet hook. I'm going to get the one that Gunther has from his uh, page because this one is metal and it kept on slipping out of my hand. And uh, the only good thing about this is it doesn't hurt your hand as much as the 0.5. The 0.5 is kind of like thinner, pointy ends. So it kind of, you're gonna keep pressing your uh, fingers while you do this. Cause you need to go inside. Like it's very easy, right? So you just gotta get the gist of it. So what I'm doing is basically right there, I'm gonna show you guys right here. I'm actually, uh, just to show you guys that's what I'm doing is basically what you do is you go in and out of the dreads pulling more dreads from the other side to the uh, opposite side of the dread and and, and also you want to do it away from the dread from the roots because you don't want to take off the roots and also some hairs already been dreaded from the old dread so I'm grabbing some of those hair also and bringing it back to the new growth and from there I'm just going in in and out of the dread and so this is the process called crochet hook and after that i uh, palm rub it to get the fuzzes and everything out right here i am um making sure that the hair is pretty good uh, sectioned out pretty good i get so much growth man i get new hair and so it's hard to maintain everything, but I, I did what I could do as much as I could. And right here is showing you guys. I, I, I did close up shots on purpose because a lot of people don't know how to crochet hook. And I'm learning right here, but I figured it out that day how to crochet hook. Okay, see how it's just coming way better now? And it stays like that. And the gel, it doesn't even matter at that point because I'm not using too much gel. I don't want to use too much gel. It ends up having a lot of buildups that I got to deal with later. I'm already dealing with dandruff. So as you guys can see, there's a little bit dandruff. I washed it right before I did a retwist, but I see I've done dandruffs. Now um, I'm grabbing a little bit more gel to get the roots going as a twist, but I'm making sure that it's not getting too much. Uh, and I'll take out the other ones also that uh, ends up uh, being on the other dread, so. I'm gonna try to explain this as much as I could. 
if I could get like a translator to translate it to uh, Amharic, that'd be dope for my Ethiopian family. Um, but right here is the process. I, I kept on going out there to do it on the mirror because with the camera, it's kind of hard to see everything. So I, uh, I'll show you guys the end process, but that's what it's looking like right now. So now I came to my fiance's uh, crib and uh, basically I wanted help from the uh, from the back side of it because, dang, man, it took me like an hour to do the front just like that. And so what we were doing is actually she's uh, she's twisting it as I crochet hook it. And uh, I'm, I have actually like my hair started to f connect with one another again, like right off the back. And so some hairs I'll show you in a bit. Uh, some hairs actually got started connecting back again and again like how it used to be so she helped me out basically look at that right there that's what i'm talking about see how jesus christ like gunther the great just did them recently and it's still still trying to give me troubles so that's i mean that's the benefit of having a hair type like this it just locks up like that it just likes their friends each hair like another friend you know what i'm saying they don't like to stay alone Helping me out with it, I'm crochet hooking it on the other side, and she coming and hitting it with the uh, water, a little bit of water, because it did dry off by the time I got to her house with some water and uh, some little bit of locking gel. I told her what to do and how to do it, and she's a killer. Like every hairstyle that I uh, asked her to, not hairstyle, but just anything I've asked her to help me out with my hair, she just does an exceedingly abundantly, above all, job. And so I just wanted to thank her. Uh, she's awesome. Get you a woman like that, then you won't be, you know what I'm saying, having a lot of issues in your life. But besides that, I digress. Um, I have a lot of hair. Well, I have 55 dreads, but uh, that's a, that's still a lot. A lot of people have skinnier dreads. And like my hair is actually uh, a lot, but I don't have skinny dreads. So that's good for me, right? I sectioned it out when I started my dreadlock. And as you guys see right there, it's perfect section. And she's the one that sectioned it out too, by the way, guys. She's the one that started my locks, you can say, literally. Because she helped me out coil it like that, just like that, just throughout the whole hair. I didn't have to crochet hook it or anything. What she did was section it out, grab some gel, uh, locking gel like that, and twist it like that throughout the whole hair. And then later on, a month later or so, gun through the gray, crochet hooked it using the same section and palm rubbed it. But the crochet hook, of course, makes the miracle happen for locking. Pretty good for the first time, huh? I mean, she did most of the things. Uh, I did the front. Um, it just take it just took me forever, man, because I'm a perfectionist, so I'm trying to be perfect over here and end up just taking forever. Like literally that day, it took forever to get this done, but we got it done. Hi guys, um, this took way longer than I thought. Um, but we was able to finish it. She helped me out, my fiance helped me out with it. Uh, she did the end result as you guys seen. I'm just letting it dry as it is right now. My, kinda, my, my scalp kinda a little bit hurt a little bit. Eh, not as much actually, not as much as I thought it would. Um, some videos that I plan doing uh, probably will be how to maintain a routine of your retwist. And so I'm gonna show you guys basically a morning routine and a night routine to do uh, to kind of keep the growth flowing also, you know, uh, because you got to take care of your hair if you want your hair to be looking sharp and nice. So this is what I got for tonight. The way I'll be sleeping will be the way I will be recording it and also making a video of morning, uh, night routine or morning, and, and also morning routine. But this is it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm tired. It's like one o'clock in the morning. Um, I need to head home and so this is her house. I need to head home and so this is it for the video I hope you guys enjoyed it, man. I know this is a great content. You know what I'm saying? If you more want more content like this. Just let me know uh, with that being said Check out the previous video keep acting the verse and creating your own universe and I'm out